Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Now I'm back in the drill seating over what I seated when my drill was plugged. and then drive over to where I was cleaning up the ends because we're seating this at an angle so there was a lot of tails that I had to just clean up and that's probably where I plugged the drill because I maybe made too sharp of a turn and backed it up and got a bunch of dirt in the boot and shank. It's probably about 40 or 45 acres I'm reseeding right now so it's definitely an expense to have to do that. Coming up to my head wall, pick the drill up, Make sure it's fully out of the ground. Turn around. And then auto track, engage. I did a perfect line that time. It was a big mistake on my part to have done that. And I feel really terrible about it. Darcy is going to be finishing this field really soon. We would have already been done with the field if I hadn't done this. I had Doug proceed here and didn't find any on that nine foot strip. When I got back in the drill and started reseeding this, my dad drove over here to see whether I had been putting seed in the ground over there and he said he didn't find any. Although it's hard to find seed in the ground, I am going to go back and reseed that and then it'll be two to three weeks before we can look at this field, know what was seeded and what wasn't. If we see a big area that wasn't seeded, we'll have to go back in the drills, but there are some times you can't do that because it could possibly snow. So it's really risky. Mistakes do happen and they're learning experiences, my dad said. Although sometimes they're expensive ones. I'm very disappointed in myself for not watching as closely and for making those errors. Even though I'm very new at driving drill, I should have known better and made sure that implement was fully out of the ground before I turned it all. And also I might have just made too sharp of a turn cleaning up that tail. Some drills have monitors on every single boot to see if the seed and fertilizer are dropping out, but my uncle Chris and dad said they wear out really fast and they're also very expensive. So we don't have those. And that's why I didn't know that the drill was plugged, but it's a really good thing every time after we fill, we check the boots, so that's how we noticed this morning. Before you change fields, you also check to make sure all your boots are not plugged. Change, you got a copy? Yes, I have a copy. I see in the prairie sky a farm paper. There's your name as a speaker at the Farmer's Union Convention. You're getting to be a celebrity. Oh, that's awesome, Grandpa. Grandpa saw me in the Prairie Star farming paper at the annual Montana Farmers Union convention. I am absolutely honored to have this opportunity. A huge thank you to Montana Farmers Union. That was so nice of Grandpa to tell me about that. I am seeding 34.7 acres an hour. in the drill reseeding the part where nine feet of my drill was plugged which we're not entirely sure when it plugged that's the whole big issue and why we were digging for seed but we know it's at least six passes in here and where we cut the field in the middle so i'm working on that part right now and then my dad just went over there and dug for seed after i started reseeding this and he said he thinks it plugged when I was cleaning up the tails. And that just means because we were seating on a three degree angle, it wasn't exact when I was finishing this part. So I had little parts I had to seed and on one of those corners, that's when I probably accidentally backed the implement up a little bit which plugs the boots, the bottom part where the seed comes out. This is added expense to the operation and also added time, which is so, so important in farming because you need to get the seed in the ground before any weather happens. The bad part of this situation is it's going to take two to three weeks for the wheat to come up. And if we weren't exactly correct on all the areas that I had nine feet that weren't seeding, we'll have to go back and reseed them. But then that's all according to weather as well, because if it snows, we can't reseed and then we'll just have no crop growing there. 
the reason there's so much added expense is because my drill is 57 feet long and there was only a nine foot portion that wasn't seeding. So you can't go back and just seed nine feet. You have to seed the full 57 feet and double seed quite a bit of that area. It's probably around 40, 45 acres. Each pass is around six acres because if I look at how many acres I have on my seed and fertilizer tanks, at one end of the pass and then I look at it at the other end and that tells you how many acres each pass is. So if each pass is about six acres, I have six passes here and then maybe three half passes on the other side of the field. I've got my seat angled a little bit and I'm turned this direction just Looks so I like can watch the implement. one more pass and you'll finish on the north end of this gate. Yes because right now I'm on 2E, so that's what I was just looking at. Okay, so when you under the north end, I'll just have you lift up, we'll cruise along towards the bottom, and I'll find out, you know, where you're plugged up at. But I, I've thought about this, and I can tell you, you plugged up in the right-hand corner, so it's probably one of them last three. Just ignore them flags, just seat over them. Lifting the implement, making a 90 degree turn, then going straight for a little bit, then going back down, then drop my implement in the ground. I'm coming up to my head wall, so I will be heading over there to reseed three passes. I think they're kind of half passes because it's on an angle. My dad's out standing in the fields. I'm not sure where he wants me to go. Now I'm grabbing a glove and going out to help my dad dig in the dirt for seed. You plug it on that end. I might have done a right hand turn here because there was this, there was a little tiny piece right here that I missed. Right, and the only way I can tell is to, see this is one, this is the other one. Now my dad's in the drill and we're going to try and figure out where my last three passes on this half of the field were, where we think there are probably sticks. Probably something going on in here. That might have been where I was cleaning up too. We're gonna be a little over. I was gonna ask you if you noticed how much over off your old tracks you were. You see? So it was one of these probably short end things where you turn. You should be able to see it on here because it'll show. But it maybe showed down there. We already maybe you've seen it. I don't know. We'll be able to look at it better. We'll probably start way outside where it happened, but I am thinking. Back gets up. Do the honorable thing. Stop, get out, crawl around, and make sure. Or spool the boots, and then go out and look. That tells the story. Plug this in a right hand turn. Because this is the side that backs up when you unturn. Figured that out while I was flying my drone. This is what I think about. I, I sometimes I do math. You know, how much more seed did I put on this field than was required? If I wanted 63, did I put 67 pounds on? But you know, that's four pounds of wheat different in a big acre. I mean, come on. You're gonna freeze out, die, the animals are gonna eat. True. Darcy, are you done on your end? I got about a six foot pass coming back up. Okay, well I got a sh another short pass here. How much how much stuff do you got left, do you think? I've got 108 now, so probably about 60, 70. I just saw a hawk fly out of this area right here and I saw his feather fall off. So wanted to go find it and show you. I saw it come off in the air. It was the coolest thing. Wow, that's cool. I'll have to tell my dad about that. The hawk went that way. Darcy's checking over his drill to make sure no boots are plugged. Everything must be good. He had two hoses that had come out this morning that he had to fix. The drills are pulling into the field now. I just flagged them here. That's my dad in the flex coil. And then Darcy's in the John Deere. You want the fertilizer truck up there? Jade's not going to need it because she's only got about 20 bushel of seed. And I think Darcy probably's got enough too, I don't know. Yeah, I'll have enough fertilizer. I think I'll like, we'll make around around this Darcy 
and then I'll let you work from the east to the west. We'll turn Cape News on the west. It's just straighter. Yeah, now go and park in the Straw Road Gate, and I'll let this thing down. We are in the new field, and the bar of seed went out on our pass, so we're going to check to see if there's any seed in the tank or if Darcy has to redo that pass. Ooh, yeah. But that probably got all seeded. Yeah, it did. I mean, I think it did, because the rollers are full. But that's why I got the okay? We just got back to the shop, drop everyone off at their vehicles, and we looked in the red in the pasture with the reservoir. All these cows came running in to, to drink water at the reservoir. So that's kind of crazy. We don't know whose cows they are. They're definitely not our cows, but that's the unexpected things that happen on the farm. 